I remember when I dropped, I would put TNT on my head, I would go to creative server, I'd put TNT on my head, hold TNT in both hands, and I would go around the chat screaming Allah Akbar, and I would, <laughs> and I would crash into people's creations. Okay, so like, uh, you, I don't really have much to say about it. You pretty much summed, you you said it pretty well. But what have you cheated on? No, go ahead. Me? Oh, okay. So I've actually cheated a lot more in school than anything. When it came to like homework, it was the easiest thing in the world to fucking cheat on because like you get home and they always say don't use your computer. So you can literally, and I kid you not, Google your paper and you will find it, and you will answer all your getters things there. That's how I did. I answered a lot of my things on Google. If I didn't know how to do it and I was sick of doing homework, I would just look up the paper on Google and I would find the sheets that the teachers got it from. That's my biggest cheating scandal, because I actually never really cheated on games unless you're counting like ROM hacks where I would use like those cheat codes. Which like is, uh, give which, infinite money or the rare candy thing on like Pokemon. Which yeah, Those are fine. Those are fine, because that's just, like, I didn't play it online, never did, never cared to play online, because I'm not a competitive player. So it was all to myself, so it was cheating that wasn't really cheating because it was just me doing it. Uh, so, you know, ne you never like downloaded aimbot? Have you ever wanted to? Come uh, on, you did. Person, no. I I am a firm believer in just get good, learn <laughs> to play a game. Like honestly, okay. So the biggest thing of this is like, when, so a YouTuber that is pretty well known for playing games that is very uh, skill based, I would say, is Call of Duty. Oh, I will say that lightly with skill part. Because lately they've implemented a <laughs> aimbot requirement, pretty much. Um, but what it is? What are you doing? Don't ask. Don't worry about it. Don't tell. It's Waiting okay. for the bus. Keep going. Don't, okay. Don't uh, let me stop you. Oh, there, there we go. Pizza man. <laughs> My man. <laughs> okay, but um, what were we talking about? I got distracted. Okay, by pizza man. you were cheating in a video game. No, it was your it. favorite thing. Uh, it's my favorite thing. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, um, so the, the biggest thing that I had to deal with when it came to, like, um, what the fuck was it? God, what were we talking about? You were cheating, and you won the grand finals because you were cheating. Yeah, so I took tests, uh, not tests, no, I uh, cheated on homework, easiest thing to do in the fucking world. I don't cheat in video games. You cheat in Pokemon based. all the time. I did cheat in Pokemon, but that was because it was just monotonous cheating. Um, then why I don't- oh yeah, Wildcat. That's who I was gonna bring up. I watch him a lot. Especially, honestly, I, his, my favorite thing to watch him play is the Modern Warfare games. Or Call of Duty, whatever you want to do. Because when he plays those games, he will honestly just try to play pretty decently. But the funniest thing is he really hates when people fucking cheat. And it is the funniest thing to see people get shit on by him who cheat. Because as good as an AI can be, the hu the human's ability to learn and adapt is better than an AI. There there is an argument to be said about that, but like with current video game AI, we will be able to trump and evolve beyond that every time you play. To the point where even though if you have an AI, you can still beat the shit out of someone who's using a cheat so uh, software. Now on the other hand, of something like TF2 cheating with the snipers, I'm pretty sure that's just broken. Y you're not. You're, there's no. You just have to leave the game. Yes, because from what I remember, they can hit you from like anywhere, I think, or something like that. Yeah, 100 percent range, and you you can't out snipe them. Just that's it. You you just can't. Like, because yeah. the sniper rifle is like instant. Like maybe if there was like a few millisecond delay, you could abuse that. You're not gonna. You're not gonna. Mm, your best chance against them is probably just to fucking blow them up from a distance. And hopefully they can't see you. Yeah, honestly, just just leave the game. Like that's, you know what? That's that's my number one advice to anyone doing anything, playing mm. a game. If something bothers you, just, just I know, leave just leave. Like you win actually, morally. That's uh, taking it back to like the Twitter shit, which is a bit back behind. That's actually a, why I left Twitter was because it was bothering me and annoyed me so fucking much. It felt negative all the time, so I left Twitter, and now I feel better for that. I actually recommend that. Like, what he just said, if something bothers you, get the fuck out of that community. Yes, 100%. And, here's another thing. I know it's like, oh, but what if I kill the cheaters? Uh, here's what it is. If you're cheating in an online video game, like, if you do it once, like, whatever, but if you're, like, fucking TF2 cheaters where you download a separate computer to cheat, you're on, you're on the verge of suicide. Like, that's it. Like, you're, <laughs> like, you're, like, you're like one insult away from like shooting up a school. So like, 
if you just don't interact with them, don't give them what they want, don't let, don't like, just don't do anything. They'll they'll do it. They'll kill themselves, and then you'll win. I know it's like I I I know it's like I went on a fucking like edgy rant. It's like oh no, okay. but I mean it's true. Like they they have nothing in life. Yeah, no. The only thing they're gonna do is like die off, literally. Yeah. Or maybe they fix themselves. Maybe they're like, hey, maybe cheating in games isn't so bad. But like, did, did you know that there was a? Uh, this is the stupidest thing I've ever heard. There was a cheater who live streamed the fact that he was cheating in games. Oh yeah, I know who you're talking about, and he looked like a fucking like thumb. Yeah, he's a fat kid. <laughs> he was funny, and he'd get really fucking bad. I think he even would blare out. He's like, "I'm gonna threaten to show you if you wanna be back in the game." It was fucking stupid. I don't understand people like that though, because like as you said, there are just uh, you know I'll use one of your words. What is it? Your library. There are just fucking troglodytes who don't know what the fuck they're yeah, doing, and their only fucking existence is cheating because they just have nothing to learn from. And at that point, I think your your example of them is quite accurate. They are just on the verge of just going ham on a school. Yeah. Like, um, that is get cold. You did. Yeah. <laughs> is she now? Oh, poor puppy. Oh, yeah. <laughs> poor dog. Whoa, jeez. What the what? heck? What? Hey, that's what you get for fast forwarding in a video game, son. That's what you get for cheating. Yeah, holy crap. That was interesting. He uh, just appeared. <laughs> well, by the way, did they need you? No, they were just saying. Okay, so you remember how we were. I don't know if we talked about it, but we were. Um, Christian has. I, the worst gas I've ever seen in, a, in, a, in an entity in this world. And she apparently just Dutch ovened the dog. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. no. Dog's dead now, guys, so don't worry about it. Uh, but, anyways. I, I kind of want to go on about the cheater thing, because, like. Mm -hmm. I, I kind of learned my, like, internet, like, etiquette from. Ironically, pedophiles on Twitter. Mm. Like I see, I see a surprising amount of them. I'm not talking about like. Mm, that's a good topic to talk about. Actually. It's like, I I, I kind of want to go about the cheating before I do that because like I have I have so many good topics. But uh, go so like first of all, pedophiles on Twitter. Uh, the community where I get all my memes from. If you go to my Twitter, it's not it's not fucking hard to figure out where I get my memes. But uh, if you go there, at the very bottom of all the replies, past all the fucking like memes, all the humor, at the very bottom with zero likes. Are people just posting like, not quite like child porn because that would get, that's FBI shit, like yeah. lollycock, you know, what I'm saying? like hentai, like of underage kids, right? Mm. And uh, now, a lot of people, what they do is like the number. There's, there's usually one comment, and it's like someone trolling and someone being like, "Give me your phone. You've lost your phone privileges." And every time I respond to them with the same spiel of like, "Don't feed the trolls." And I post a screenshot of me reporting them, and I'm like, "Just, just report them, and we win. That's it. They'll leave." Be mm. And like. Message to everyone: If you want something to go away, just just don't acknowledge it. You literally it, let it fade out of existence. The 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 best like that's the best way to kill someone with boredom, right? Like mm -hmm. if you're just tired, if you just don't want to deal with something, just just don't interact. They'll get bored, they'll leave. And I know it's like, oh, but I want to win. Well, you, you you can't you can't win them all. Okay, I'm no. sorry. They're, okay, I will stay. As much as he said, with stuff like that, you can't win them all. However, you can win some. I think it's time I explain a story. Go on. A very beautiful tale of a Roblox surfer. Oh. Uh, oh, oh, wait, is this me? Yes. Uh, is this, oh, oh, so, this once upon a time, in a Roblox server far, far away, known as One Piece Legends. Oh, One Piece Legends. So, basically, what happened is, one day, everyone was just playing on the server. It was like me, Ethan, Cameron, and Dylan. We were all just playing on the server, having a good time. Suddenly... A dude joined. Not only was this dude absolutely like wank with how strong he was, but he was one of those people who like used his mom's card to get everything he needed and then move forward. The dude would kill everyone on the island to the point where like if you just stood still, you would eventually die. So what we took this is, and also this this kid was just talking smack and chat. Uh, so it was one of those situations where it's like, all right, Cameron sat back in his chair. He popped his knuckles, and he started typing. I have never seen a more beautiful sight. When this man went fucking 180 from bitching about, like, just killing everyone, being like, you guys are weak, to stop talking, 
because Cameron fucking turned the whole server against the man. The entire server went 180 on just being annoyed with this guy to just railing him with fucking hilarity. It was amazing. It was like Cameron, I'm gonna just quote something that I feel like Moist Kurt will say, it was like, Cameron, the literal reincarnation of Jesus Christ, stepped on the server and said, no, you. And then everyone on the server just fucking listened. We had the entire server dogging this one guy because he was being a douchebag. And all because Cameron was just like, sick of And it just fucking worked. The dude got so pissed because no one was fighting back, which meant that his immediate enjoyment about killing people was people whining about him. That was immediately snuffed. No one wanted to fight him. No one wanted to deal with him. So literally, he lost all enjoyment immediately. And instead, it turned into a roasting session of the man. Where people would just constantly roast this dude alive. And at some point, he just fucking left. He had nothing to gain. The server was against him entirely. He could not stand there anymore. And he just left. And we all gathered at the center part of this town. And we literally just fucking had a party at the middle of this fucking Roblox map because everyone was just rejoicing at what we all just accomplished, which was literally out-trolling a troll. I, I I opened my mouth and I, I don't remember what I said, but it was beautiful. Everyone was laughing, which, by the way, big advice. The, if, you, if you are going to like troll the trolls, the number one thing, the absolute number one thing you do is don't focus on making the other guy mad. It's not going to work. What you can do is, if you're trolling someone, focus on making other people laugh because... Yes. What it will spin it to is because the fact of the matter is everyone's laughing at this guy. You're like the you're the clown and he's the fucking balls being juggled, right? Yeah. Like, uh, so like if if you make everyone else laugh at him, like even if even if you're dealing with the most, first of all, you're not going to be dealing with this. Usually the guy's going to be like, God, everyone's laughing at me. I feel like a fucking idiot. He's going to cry. He's going to literally cry himself to sleep. But even if he doesn't, if you're dealing with the most hard-headed ten-year-old in the whole fucking world, mm. at the very least. You got everyone to laugh. Like you still win morally because like everyone had a good time. It's all because of you, right? But right. again, that's like that, that's some like advanced fucking tech. I don't remember anyone do that except for me, just because I'm fucking I'm a fucking idiot. I'll just say anything, right? But uh, yeah, that's that's one example of me winning. And you know what? If I was there by myself, I wouldn't have done it. I would have just left. But I could I, I could only win because even if he like even if he didn't cry himself sleep tonight, which he probably did. I, I made everyone on the server laugh. I remember one of my favorite lines. I don't remember what I said, but the only thing I remember saying is like, my man could have bought a Bitcoin miner, but no, he used it to grind fucking Roblox. <laughs> that is true. I do remember that. That was a fucking slapper. <laughs> no, like, that. that is the situation with, like, some trolls, is you can legitimately out-troll the troll by just being a good guy. Yeah, but... And I, that's what's funny. Again, you, you with great power comes great responsibility, except there's no responsibility, just don't Pick your fights. Yeah. Like, like obviously, if there's like ten cheaters on a server and it's just you, like obviously you're not gonna win that fight. Like, you're not gonna fucking, you're not gonna crack one-liners. Even if you do, it's just ten trolls laughing at you. Like, oh, oh, we got the funny guy here to fucking mm -hmm. be funny on our behalf. Like, again, all you're doing is fucking. Uh, the only time I feel like where it's like you have a chance of winning and it's just you is when the admin joins the game. <laughs> yeah. Also, uh. Again with cheating, I I have a really long b fucking backstory of cheating. Like, I cheated in Minecraft way more than I wanted to admit. Like, as soon as I found out what a hack client was, I would just like, I would download like all of them and just try them all out. And I remember, uh, I remember, uh, I, like I would just go to servers just trying out the heat cheats, trying out the hack clients. D dirty confessions. I'm airing out my fucking dirty laundry. He's a cheater. I'm a cheater and. uh... Like, I, I remember I would play Minecraft Hunger Games, and like, this is how bad I was. So here's what I'd do. I'd uh, fly around in, not creative, but like, in Minecraft Hunger Games, this is before actual, this is like really fucking far back, before like, 20, away. Yeah, yeah, like 2015, before the fucking Fortnite, whatever. <laughs> but like, what I would do is, before the game, it showed you the map. It'd be like, okay, here's the map. And I would literally plan out where I would go. I would go in the creative and fly around. You you could do that, right? That I didn't cheat. It's just, they, they just let you go into creative and fly around. I would fly around and plan out my yard chart. I would even go turn on my fucking x-rays and like try to look for iron and diamonds. And I would be like, okay, if I do this, blah, 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 go here, here, here. Uh, and then I would turn on the cheats and I would fucking like 
you know, just just the typical the, the thing I shouldn't have done. I would turn on the cheats and I would just like I, I would just win, right? I'd have X-rays, but uh, fucking tracers, blah blah blah. And uh, so I did that, right? Uh, you know, bad camera, don't do that. And I don't. I didn't do it anymore. I've grown <laughs> up. Uh, and oh, but here was my favorite. This is my f this is one of my favorite memories of all time. Yeah. Hold on. I I wasn't paying attention to the game. Did I get the thing I needed? Okay. Yeah, I got it. Uh, one of my favorite things I've ever did was uh, my favorite hat climb back in the day. God, I forgot what it was called. I really wish I remember. But uh, was it that one in Minecraft that you showed me? Did I? I oh yeah. What was it? Like TNT climb or some shit? Something like that. Yeah, it was like TNT climb or some shit. That was my favorite. And the reason it was my favorite was because it had a lot of features, new curve, blah blah blah. More importantly. It had creative hacks. What are creative hacks? Well, basically, uh, if you're in creative mode, like it lets you put tags on items. It lets you change mm -hmm. the names of stuff. Yeah, it was definitely that client then. Because yeah. I remember you, me, and you were like trying to like butt heads on how to like get a sword have properties you wanted it to have. Yeah. And you're like, I swear this bro, this this thing works, man. You just gotta trust me. <laughs> I, I, oh yeah, I remember that. Too. By the way, that was all you want. That was the, the thing I'm telling you about. Was all you want. Uh, oh, yeah. No, yeah, that's right. That's what it was. Yeah, I used that too. All you want. God, I missed that so much. But uh, basically, so like, one of the cheats was you can put an item from your inventory on your head, which uh, what I would do was, back when the dual wield update dropped. Do you remember what that was? Was that like one point five or some shit? Did quote unquote dual wield. Yeah, dual quote unquote dual. You you remember what I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. Cool two things. The shield update. I remember when that dropped, I would put TNT on my head, I would go to creative server, I'd put TNT on my head, hold TNT in both hands, and I would go around the chat screaming Allah Akbar, and I would <laughs> and I would crash into people's creations. I wouldn't blow up, because you can't do that in creative, you can't just blow other people's stuff up. But I would, <laughs> this is one of my favorite memories, I would literally play like Allah Akbar Trap Remix, and it would be like, and it would be flying around, and it was just... I just was laughing to myself so hard, just like That's flying funny. to people's stuff, and I would, and people would be like, "TP to me for a role play," and I would do that. I would oh, go there. No. <laughs> I would go there. Was role play as a terrorist. I'd scream, "Al Akbar!" In the chat. <laughs> this is before censors, by the way. Uh, yeah. Yeah. For those of you who don't know, back in the day, Minecraft didn't censor your chat. Like, and I'm just saying, like, oh, this is Minecraft. No, like that was the etiquette back then. Like, legit, 100 percent. Just Minecraft, just the common etiquette was you don't censor chat. No matter fuck shit, it was all allowed. Admins didn't get onto you, there was no chat filter, just you were just allowed to say whatever you want. And of course one of them was all was first of all the N-word was one of them. The second <laughs> one was Allah Akbar, right? You could just say that. Nowadays you can't say that because oh you gotta be proper blah, 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 fucking yeah. whatever. Did Pussy you, shit. Did you hear that Call of Duty did something like that? What, they, you're not allowed they, to swear they, anymore? No, they literally before you join the fucking game. They have you sign a sheet that basically says, I'll be a good boy, I promise. <laughs> Call of Duty, come on, man. I know, right? The most toxic fucking community, and Call of Duty is the one that... It's mini lag. Mini lag, yeah, I hear mini lag. Stop taking But yeah, no, it's just ridiculous. I, okay, I'm gonna be completely honest. Censorship is the stupidest fucking thing we've ever invented. Is, are you gonna fight a tree? Maybe. Holy fuck, it's a tree! Oh god, the tree. Uh... By the way, pay attention to this fight, by the way. I'm going to have to ask you to stop talking as politely. Just watch this fight. Just watch real closely. From beginning to end. Oh, Jesus. I noticed it missed a lot, but that thing did a lot of damage. That's a lot of XP! It is. Did you see how much damage it did at the end, yeah. by the way? 200. What the fuck? Now you might have noticed, I don't have 200 XP. I only have 131 yeah, defense. out of one. That's not defense. What that is is a. Uh, well, no, you have 19 defense. Okay. Oh yeah, but uh, so what that was was a, uh, you know how it like scrolls up and scrolls down, like mm -hmm. it doesn't instantly change to the number. That's a mechanic in this game. Like you can, if you're fast enough, let's say you have 900 HP and something does 901 damage to you, that number scrolls down so slowly. You can finish the fight before it reaches zero. So that's okay. You were doing that at one point. I remember it because you were going, you were playing it, and you were like, "Well, oh, come on, come on, come on, come on! I gotta get it done!" And then you died, and you were just like, "Fuck!" Yeah, because that 
Because, like, that that's a mechanic. You can actually, like... You uh, can kill someone before you die. You can kill someone before you die, so... That's, that's actually a really cool mechanic. I know, right? It's, Is that intentional? That's intentional. In fact, this mole down here... Oh, okay, never mind. Woo! There's actually a mole that... The tutorial mole. He tells you that. He says, hey, you can kill something before it kills you. And that's what you saw with that tree. It did 200 damage to me. I, like, just in the nick of time, I fucking, like, got out of there, right? That is crazy. Yeah. Yeah, it, it's it's a really cool mechanic. That is a dope mechanic, like legitimately gun. Um, and uh, is is one of the items that cannot be equipped? What? That can be equipped. Oh, oh, okay. Equip body. There we go. Anyways, uh, what were you saying before that? I just I just had to talk about that. That's was, that's was such a cool mechanic. No, that was just fun. Oh. Yeah. Oh, by the way, this guy say hi. Hi, this guy. What are you? A Monopoly piece? <laughs> Monopoly or, piece? Or um, a sorry piece? <laughs> he is a sorry piece. He looks like a sorry piece. Okay, uh, um. Cheating in games, Call of Duty. Call of Duty added that one thing. Censorship. Stupidest fucking thing to exist. Uh, and actually, this is kind of why I said I stopped censoring. This is my biggest reason. Because, like, I know the idea of, like, oh, you did it because you're lazy. You don't want to, like, have to censor everyone every time. The real reason was, I hated it because I felt like I was stopping people from being who they were. Like, if if you spent your whole life saying and talking this one way, just for someone to say, no, 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 don't talk like that. You can't do that. No, no, no. That is a huge change in how you have to think now. I don't think you should censor how someone is literally designed to talk. That yeah. is just, to me, it's wrong. It's like going to someone who speaks Mexican... Who is just talking Mexican and you being like, no, 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 talk American. Speak, speak, about, speak, speak, speak American, speak English. You, re you remember, by the way, that there was like, uh, there was an old lady who Karen? was talking to this one dude. Okay, what it was is there was this restaurant dude who was walking around and he was talking to people in Spanish. And this old lady comes up and goes, you're in America, speak American. And he looks at it and goes, all right, I'll do that. And then she just dead face was just like... <laughs> It's so, it's so goofy. It's it's that shit I don't like. Censorship or like alteration of people speaking is just not cool. Yeah, I'm, I, I understand. Uh, here here's the thing that I don't get. Okay, Dylan censors me saying faggot. Like, y you know what? Fine, he can censor it. Yeah. What he what I am not okay with is him saying, "Hey, Cameron, uh, can you please not say faggot?" Because it's like, oh, "Fuck you, faggot, censor it." Yeah, censor it. You do some fucking do some That's fucking legwork. Why I don't censor people anymore? Because I just think it is just the, it literally is just telling someone not to be the way they are. Yeah, that's and that's not cool. It's the opposite of cultural appropriation. It's, you're not wrong. Uh, yeah, facts. What can I say? Facts. I'm sorry, I just stopped to mess with something. Okay, but yeah, no. So that's my whole shtick with censorship. I think it's one of the stupidest things we've ever invented. This idea that we have to like make sure everything is this weird PG-13 or something like that. Because to me, I just think words are words, and people need to get over it. Yeah. I like one of the biggest things. Like a lot of people have issue with, and I'm gonna quiet down about this one because my parents really don't like this one. But do you want to get closer cursing, to the mic? No, that's fine. They can oh, jeez. I so, wasn't paying attention. Cursing is considered a no-no for them because of, like, Christianity and stuff. Uh, oh, sorry. What? <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure I curse a lot around no, them. No, that's I, why I don't... Again, I'm not caring. They know that that's your lifestyle. But here, here's my thing is... The curse words... In, in the Bible, it's like... Do not say curse words type of thing. I don't even know if they actually say that, by the way. But, um... That doesn't mean say this specific, like, fuck or shit. No, that it means don't say words in a negative fashion towards someone. Yeah, that's... It literally is, don't be mean. That's what, yeah, that's what me and my dad were talking about. It says, like, don't curse the Bible. And me and dad were talking about, like, no, no, no. That just means don't, like, curse thy neighbor yeah. to hell. Like, obviously, you can say fuck, like, who cares? Just don't, don't say, uh, Cody, fuck you, I hate you. Yeah, Cody, no. hope you kill yourself. Because it, what it is... It, it, here's my biggest thing about this is the words we use nowadays are not the same. They weren't even in the same fucking language. Yeah. Let's like, remember that. They spoke in a different language. Dead Sea Scrolls and all that shit. Yeah. So, like, it, it makes no sense to me, that part. Uh, but that, that's my spiel on that little thing uh, with the whole Christianity and such. But, like, yeah. Just just don't... 
companies uh, and people out there, stop censoring. It's it's okay. We are grown adults and people who can understand that words are just words and we don't need to whine and cry about them because they hurt our feelings. <laughs> Some guy called me a faggot on the internet. Oh, yeah, uh, Docks him, dox him, dox him. Yeah, dox him. <laughs> I was I remember I was really scared about that for a while cuz I remember no honestly I whenever I first started doing this and you were like I don't people know where I live uh, at first I didn't understand why uh, after having grown up in the world of the internet now I understand why and also yeah privacy is very important on the internet cuz people are fucking insane. have you heard we're like um okay do you remember the slow mo guys the slow mo yeah um one I think it was Gavin I think is his name is uh he Apparently had some dude who traveled across the state or the country to kill him. What the fuck? It's like he would stay outside their house with a gun. <laughs> what the because fuck? Because he just, he got, uh, effectively, he wasn't docs, I think the guy just found out where he lived by using, like, coordinate type shit. Yeah, like, uh, like smart people yeah. shit. Basically, yeah, I used to not care much about doxing. Uh, well, not, not doxing specifically, but, like, I didn't understand why you were so afraid of it. Yeah. Now I do. Yeah. And I 100% agree with, like, privacy on the agenda. It should be an insanely kept thing. Uh, but, yeah. Yeah, what I'm what I'm kind of glad about now is, like, it, I think it kind of calmed down. Like, there was yeah. a whole doxing fiasco on Twitter. I think everyone kind of, like, <laughs> wisened up to say. And, you know, like, now we're not so worried about that. I'm getting my fucking ass handed to you. You are. But, like, yeah, we, I think everyone in the, in the world just kind of wisened up about that. It's probably because all the stupid shit's finally going over their heads. Uh, there is actually something I do want to talk about with it's Twitter, specifically. Because it has come to my attention of a certain situation that I was intrigued in. And after I had dropped out of the drama of Twitter and shit, uh, uh, my mind has been open to different situations that I kind of already distrusted. But the idea that Elon Musk was buying Twitter. The dude fucking backed down. He was like, nope, 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 I'm done. That's all right. Too much money. The dude spent, like, how many billions of dollars on that thing? Uh. It was a ridiculous on, amount of On money. Twitter? He... Yeah, he tried to, he tried to buy, like, outright buy Twitter. And for, like, billions of dollars. Damn. Uh. And he just backed out? Yeah, he just backed out, apparently. Uh, from what I've heard, he has completely backed out of it. He's not doing it anymore. He's not the owner of Twitter anymore. But what I will say is... I used to think that would have been a good thing, but then I remembered I've uh, I've always had this weird innate distrust in Elon Musk, whereas before I would say that oh no he's the perfect thing for the place because he's a meme guy right he's the meme lord meme lord yeah so let me explain something did you guys know that him and ha Amber Heard hit it off hit it off like they fucked or like mm -hmm. what oh they like oh they fucked. They uh, are in close relations to each other. They are uh, boyfriend girlfriends at times. Even while I believe that... Grimes? Uh, What's her name? The wife? No, uh, Johnny Depp was with her, I believe. She would go to see him. Huh. Uh, the thing with that that is really messed up is obviously the fact that everyone now knows what Amber Heard has done. And seeing the fact that he had on multiple occasions tried to defend her, by the way, yeah, my huh. trust did not sit well with him after a few times of listening about that. So, like, okay, so after the whole uh, Johnny Depp thing, Elon Musk was still like, no, well, no, I, I, don't, I don't know. This is like earlier stuff, but it was still around the time <coughs> when the case was being heard around. It wasn't when she had, like, I don't think it was during the case. Also, I think you're about to get attacked by a tree. Not yet. Tree is, tree is after this okay. case. But, um, basically. What, what happened was, at some point before the case had fully gone off, uh, and a lot of information about her shit was just aired, he tried his best to make sure that she was financially kept. Huh. So he babied her a lot. Um, and obviously it was very clear because of this, by the way, there is a Mogus in the background. This. Oh god, the Mogus. Oh. Uh, there's a lot of them actually. Oh jeez. He's <laughs> right. upside down, he's swimming down below. But um He's going to hell. Yeah, Elon Musk has lost a lot of favor in my brain. And the thing is I heard about this before he tried to bot Twitter. Is he just running away from me? No, he uh, I was invincible, so he didn't know I existed. Oh. But uh you mean invisible? In invisible, invincible, well both. Whichever. Okay. But yeah, so Elon Musk buying Twitter didn't happen and honestly I think it probably would have been a good thing, because there's no time when he would have fucked up. What is happening? I brain shock was the name of the attack he used on me. What that does it do? Weird. I don't know what it does, but it was brain shock. Whoa, whoa, whoa. 
Maybe we'll see it again if I don't, <laughs> I don't die. Maybe. But yeah, so... Yeah, Twitter bullshit place was about to be owned by probably a bullshit owner. And There's again? Backed out again. Oh, geez. Also, not to excuse the current owners of Twitter, they also suck ass. I kind of <laughs> don't like them, too. Hmm? I kind of don't like them, too. They're, uh... Yeah. They're, uh... They, uh... They, space buns. You just... But, um, you know what I mean? Yeah.